Meghan Markle has been increasingly adopting Britishisms and has embraced some typical UK habits, like going to the pub and enjoy long walks in the English countryside, a royal expert claimed. Meghan has been living in the UK for almost two years now and has gotten used to replacing typical American terms with their corresponding British words, according to royal author Katie Nichol. The Duchess of Sussex is said to be saying, pants, less, and has been heard saying bits and bobs, according to a source who spoke to Miss Nichol. But Meghan hasn't just been picking up some words she is likely hearing from Prince Harry and her new British friends and relatives, she has also introduced some English habits into her healthy lifestyle, the royal author added. A friend of the couple who anonymously spoke to the royal expert said the Duchess fell in love with the English countryside and loves going for walks there. And even though she is believed to have helped Prince Harry change his diet, give up smoking and cut down his daily alcohol intake, Meghan is also said to be loving stopping at English pubs while out for a stroll. Meghan, who is believed to be very hands-on in her new home in Windsor, as she is said to be cooking all her meals and taking care of most of the house by herself, has also gotten acquainted with British supermarkets. Writing in Vanity Fair, Miss Nichols said, while she has her favorite Fortnum and Mason Royal Blend tea delivered as a treat for guests, her weekly delivery is not so grand. More like Ocado, says a friend, noting that Kate and Meghan have similar tastes when it comes to shopping. And, speaking about the household's lack of staff, one source told Mrs. Nichol, for the most part they are self-sufficient. Meghan doesn't have a stylist. She does most of it. Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, has been spotted more than once doing her weekly grocery at Waitrose. Meghan moved to the UK shortly before her engagement to Prince Harry was announced in November 2017. The couple initially lived in Nottingham Cottage, on the grounds of Kensington Palace, but moved out in late March to their current home Frogmore Cottage ahead of the birth of their firstborn, Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor. During this time, Meghan is believed to have picked up her new British habits. Marissa Brook, assistant professor in linguistics at the University of Toronto, noted how during Meghan and Harry's visit to Birkenhead in January, the Duchess phonetics were more British than American. Giving as an example the sentence I do appreciate that, pronounced by Meghan while speaking to a royal fan, the expert told the BBC, the vowel in that is further back in the mouth than you would expect for American English. I think a lot of it is deliberate on her part. She's developed a style to be used when directly talking with the British public. These are the situations where people might be judging her in public instantly, where it really benefits her to sound British and aristocratic. If it's conscious, I don't think it makes her manipulative, or a poser or anything.